this weather forecast. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful out there. Oh, wonderful. Yesterday we had highs in the low 70s, went up a few more notches today to get those mid to upper 70s across green country and hopefully had a chance to enjoy it. Uh, as we go through the evening hours, I think most of us will stay dry. There is a slim chance though. We can't 100% rule out a storm or two trying to develop here across northeastern portions of the region this evening and into tonight. And if a storm does develop, there is a chance it could become strong or severe with a low end wind and hail threat. So we'll watch this closely here. Vanita Grove and Grand Lake up to around Miami. It will likely move into southwest Missouri fairly quickly if we even see it develop. But right now things are fairly quiet, but you can see see these uh, echoes here to the north. There's a little wave moving through and that may provide just enough lift to the atmosphere to perhaps get a storm or two to pop up here far northeast Oklahoma. So that's why we're going to watch that as we go through the evening hours. Most of us, though, not going to see any rainfall this evening. If you got any plans, you're going to be thumbs up in great shape through the evening hours. You can see how quiet it is across the entire state. Now, as we head into tomorrow, temperatures will once again warm well up into the 70s. A very similar day to what we saw today. Mid to upper 70s for highs will start out a little bit warmer with the numbers in the mid 50s tomorrow morning. And we'll notice some clouds, a bit of sunshine, and we'll still have that chance of an isolated shower or storm developing tomorrow afternoon. We'll go about 78 for the high in Tulsa, 80 though for those of you out in western portions of the region, more mid 70s as you go farther to the east tomorrow. And like today, we will have a chance of maybe an isolated storm popping up, but no guarantee we actually get a storm. We'll have a warm layer of air overhead about a kilometer or two up and that may prevent those storms from developing. So think of a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon rises because the air inside the balloon is warmer than the atmosphere around it. Well, if you put a warmer layer of air over that hot air balloon, it's not going to go any higher. And that's the same thing with clouds. It's going to try tomorrow to maybe get a storm or two to develop, but it's going to struggle. If we get a storm or two to develop, though, wind and hail uh, certainly could be a possibility and a very low end tornado risk. But again, most of us will probably stay dry. So here's that setup for tomorrow. We're going to be drawing out moisture in from the south, a gusty south breeze, and of course that moisture will be the fuel for storms if we even get anything. I think most of us probably will stay dry tomorrow. But here comes a frontal system. This is what's going to move in on Thursday. So there's the time at the top right of your screen. We start to see that chance for showers and storms increasing Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening into Thursday night. The farther south and east you live, much higher chance you'll get storms farther north and west, lower chances. And Tulsa right now probably running about 30 to 40 percent, but as high as 80 to 90 percent in southeast Oklahoma for Thursday evening and Thursday night. And with that, there will be severe weather possibilities, uh, damaging wind and hail threat low end tornado threat and a localized flood threat as well. We'll have to keep an eye on as we head into Thursday night. Cooler going into St. Patrick's Day, just a slight chance of a shower south Friday and Saturday and their coolest of the next few days will be on Monday with highs in the 50s.